unique experience for me in terms of the food, in terms of the culture, in terms of the people. And then what I realized the most is that everybody learns differently. You know, some people learn better visually. Some people learn better by reading, you know. Some people need a little bit more guidance. Some people, you know, you teach them once, they pick it up and you just let them go. And then what I realized is that if you try to force people or if you try to have everybody learn the way you want to learn, you're going to be fighting a very hard battle, you know. And then I realized that as the chef of the outlet, it's my responsibility to change the way I teach people. So if, if someone keeps making the same mistake, the way I see it is that it's not their fault. Maybe it's the way that I teach that's wrong. You know, maybe instead of teaching him, okay, by gram, I got to show him. Then maybe he'll pick it up. You know, so for me, working in India has taught me a, a really valuable lesson that in order for me to, to teach what I know, I have to be more flexible in the way I approach problems. He does have quite a paternal instinct in him to want to uh, watch them grow. And that's one of the reasons why I guess we got together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, end of the day, you know, like, even if I'm not here, I still want the Gusan brand to, to continue on, right? If, if I was to keep all the recipes, all the ways by myself, you know, then what happens if I'm sick or what happens, you know, if I don't come to work, the day still goes on, right? So I know like a lot of old school chefs, sometimes they don't want to share recipes or they don't want to teach you anything, you know, because that was how they were taught. But for me, it's like, look, if you want to copy my dish, I'm actually kind of proud because they think my dish was good enough to be copied, you know? So for me, it's, it's all about being transparent, you know? If you want to learn, as long as you want to learn, I'm willing to teach, you know? And, and we always keep that door open, right? Like, look, I've never done this before. I want to learn how to, let's say, cut fish. Okay, we'll order a fish, you know? We'll teach you how to do it, you know? If you make a mistake, it's all right, you know? We'll just try not to do it again, right? Okay, or how can we improve, right? It's always about how can we do better compared to yesterday, even if it's a very small thing, you know. And it's a very inclusive team that we have tried to build around here too. The kitchen team really looks up towards uh, Chef Tomo. And again, this is one of those uh, drawing factors that led me to him. There's two Gyusan. Uh, so one is here at Forum, the other one is at Guaco Towers. And uh, who knows, maybe sometime down the road, we'll have the third, the fourth, and see how far we can push ourselves. I would definitely love to take it overseas. You know, I think Wagyu has kind of, you know, made its mark all around the world. Like now it's a lot more accessible. You know, before you only see it in certain locations or certain restaurants, but now, you know, it's, I think the demand for Wagyu has also increased, but I still think it's, it's still quite expensive, you know, for the average person to enjoy, but we kind of want to change that. You know, we kind of want to shake things up, like look, you can you can always have high quality ingredients at affordable prices it's